welcome to the instructional video on elections and change requests. In this demonstration, you will see how you, as an AFSC client, can view your elections and complete your change requests for the current crop year in AFSC Connect. So let's get started. Go to the AFSC website at www.afsc.ca. Once the website has opened, click on the Login tab. If you have already created an online account with AFSC, click on the link Log in to AFSC Connect. If you have not, click on Click Here and follow the instructions to create an account. Or you can view a step-by-step -step instructions if you click on the link Create or Update Online Account. Type in your username and click Continue. Enter your password and click Enter. On your home screen, click on My Insurance box. You will see a list of your insurance subscriptions. Click on View Details to open up your crop subscription. To view the election information, either click on the plus icon in the election information box or simply click anywhere in the election information box. You can see all the crops elected for that crop year. If you wish to see more details on a specific crop, you can click on the plus icon or on the crop name to open. You will now see more election information for that specific crop type, like the estimated yield guarantee and dollar coverage per acre. You will also receive an explanation regarding the information that is displayed. You can make a change to any one of the crop elections. These changes can include changing the number of declared acres, adding or removing a crop type, or changing election coverage or coverage endorsements for any of the crop types. You could also choose to have no insurance in effect or cancel your subscription altogether. First, we will demonstrate how you can add a new crop type to your election. To do this, Click on Make a Change. You have now opened your change request. To add a new crop type, click on Add New. First, you need to select a crop. To do this, click on the drop-down arrow. Scroll down the list and select the crop type you wish to add. Now the crop type is selected, you need to select the coverage level you want for that crop. Depending on the type of crop you selected will depend on the coverage levels you have available to choose. Then select any coverage endorsements you want, like hail endorsement or spring price endorsement. If the crop will be irrigated, then you would click in the box. Depending on the crop type will depend on the options that are available for end use. For example, commercial, pedigreed, malting, specialty oil, or organic. In this case, the end use for alfalfa can only be pedigreed. If you want straight hail auto elect, you can indicate the dollar coverage per acre and the deductible percentage in either dry land or irrigated. You have now completed adding a new crop type with the desired coverage levels and endorsements. If you want to make changes to a crop that is on the list, you would scroll down to that crop and make the changes. Let's say you want to change the canola coverage level. Scroll down to canola. If you want to change the coverage level from 70% to 80%, simply click in the 80% box. The coverage level has been changed to 80%. You can remove any check mark by clicking in that box or add a check mark by clicking in the box. If there is a check mark in a box, that indicates this is the coverage you want. If you want to remove a crop from your election, scroll down until you find the crop type you wish to remove and click the Remove button to the right of the crop type. We will demonstrate how to remove flax from this election. Scroll down the list of crops until you find flax and click the Remove button receive a message to confirm you want to remove, and if so, click OK and the flax election would be removed. Review the list of all crops elected 
and the election coverage is chosen to ensure all crops you plan to seed this year are listed and the coverage levels and endorsements are what you want for this crop. Now scroll to the top of the page and confirm that the number of declared acres are sufficient for the number of acres you are planning to seed. If you need to change the declared acres, click in the box and remove the existing number and type in the new number of acres. If you have made all the changes, scroll to the bottom of the page and read the declaration. Then click on Agree and Submit. You will receive a message the change request was successfully submitted and can click on Return to Subscription Detail. Once the change request is submitted, you will be able to view the change request forms that were submitted. You can submit more than one change request prior to the April 30th deadline, and each version will be saved. Each time a change request is submitted, a case will be created and your AFSC branch office will be notified. To view the change requests, click on View Change Requests. You can see each of the change requests that were submitted, the case number, status, the date and time the change request was submitted, as well as a link to the change request form which you can download and view. To view the change request, click on the appropriate PDF link. The change request will open and you can see all the changes that were made. In this example, you can see that alfalfa was added, flax was deleted, and canola was modified and moved to the top of the list. If there were no changes made to the crop, the word none is listed. If you were to review this information and you noticed you forgot to make a change, you can repeat this process and submit another change request. If you decide not to take crop insurance this year, you can also choose No Insurance in Effect by clicking in the box at the top of the change request form. You could also cancel your crop subscription altogether by clicking in the Cancel Subscription box. If you are requesting to cancel the subscription, you would have to provide a reason for cancellation. You would then read the declaration and click Agree and Submit. You will receive the same confirmation as illustrated previously. This concludes the demonstration on elections and change requests in AFSC Connect. We hope you found this video informative. You can contact AFSC through our website, by telephone, live chat, email, or by visiting any one of our branch office locations.